Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Unix. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how the input and output works in Unix. So, whenever you process any data, we have to provide some input to any given command. Also, we expect the output. Normally, the input is provided as a part of the a file, or it could be input as a, a plain text. The output is already shown on your Unix screen or Unix shell. If you want to maintain that output as a file or as a, a log file or any other flat file, then we have to use some specific commands. And that is what we are going to see in today's tutorial. So let's learn some basic about it. Input and Output. These are the commands which takes the input from the terminal and sends results output back to the terminal so if you see here we are sending input to the terminal we are getting the output to the from the terminal we in case if you want to maintain that output and input some specific file there are some setup commands which we are going to learn in today's session now as we know earlier uh, definitely input case we already know we have processed so many commands on the input files in our earlier session how about the output we have not seen any command then how to redirect this output the output is already on the terminal we have to just redirect that output to a specific file the output from a command is intended for the standard output which can be diverted to a file on need basis what does it mean we don't have to always redirect the output to any specific file Sometimes it's okay to have the output just on the terminal. We just we we don't worry about the output. We just process. For example, reading a file. So we just expect that output of reading the file is should be on the terminal. We just read it and we just let let it go. We don't maintain or we don't need to keep that uh, data of terminal output in any specific file. For example, in this case, if you want to maintain the data which is particularly for the errors then we have to use command for example grep then the actual command that is actual content that is error and the log file what are the log file you have for example in this case it's a test.log so log file is kind of the flat file or you can use txt file or doc file or any other file also use this command and use the greater than character and then specify the file name so what are the input file that is here the test.log is input file error.log is output file so what are the data contains in the input file with the messages error will be redirected to the log that is error log here we have to use a greater than character to send output content to target file the output file is also called as a target file if a command has its output redirected to a file and the file already contains some data then data will be lost if you use the single character and if you want to process data again and again on that file the old data will be removed and the new data will be written on top of that if you still want to maintain the old data then you have to use the double greater than character which will just append the data to the existing file why don't you have the demo on this? So let's go and have demo on this. Let's clear this. <coughs> so if you see this, um, I just created one file in my Unix directory. The name of file is cmxserver.log. You can have any log file. This log file, let me show you what file contains. So if you see, it contains some debug logs, some messages etc now let me clear it and i'll just do grip error on cmx oh there are some errors also present now what i want to do i want to move this error logs in other log files this is helpful to analyze the files the reason is if the file is too big it's very difficult to trace down the errors in that big file 
so if you just move some specific content to a, a, in a smaller file it will be become more easy to analyze and that's the purpose of moving the output also sometimes we need that output file as an input to the next command so just move that output to a specific file and use that file to the next processing there are several usages of this output so but today's session we'll just see how to move this content to specific file as i said earlier if you want to move file or the content to a separate file we have to use a greater than symbol command is of course we need to grab the content i will just grab the ear if you have any specific any other content just mention there use the input file here in input file is same x server dot log and give the error, uh, error dot output file name or the target file name you can use txt file or any other file format also once you provide this command enter it i'll just do the ls minus ltr now i can see oh the err dot log file got created with content 25551 bytes now if I rerun this command again, grape error same x.log and put the content in the same file and just do the ls minus ltr. The amount of content remains the same. What does it mean is what are the content present in the old file it removed and with the new command, this new command, the content is overwritten to this existing file. Hence the content is the same. Now if you want to append the data what you have to do you have to just use it double greater than symbol and just enter it so if you check the file size now it's got double because we use the two greater than symbol it will just append the content append the message what you want to process if you want to see this content whether it will just contain this a e r r or it contains the whole data we'll see that so if you see this file this particular data it not just only contain e r r the e r r is coming from this content so it, it's just randomly checked, it's not necessarily error. So make sure you're using the specific content. It does just don't capture ERR, actually it captures whole line itself. So it's helpful for us. It is not just capturing one, one word, it actually capturing whole line. So the whole lines will be captured and put into that log file. So it will go going to provide us more information and it will be helpful. So I hope you got the how to put the one second let me exit out yeah okay so this is the command the command single character is to move the content to the output file or the target file double is to append the content to the existing file couple of things how to redirect as like the output redirect input is also can be redirected in order to redirect the input you have to use the less than symbol which is used to redirect the input of the command the command is who like for example users greater than it will move the content to the output file that is users wc that is count of the word minus l list user it will just count the number of users to count the number of lines in the line file by redirecting the standard output of wc command that is word count from the file users so let's try to use this wc minus l less than users so if i use wc minus l users i'll just use users okay let me who users let me try that users first who users the next command is we'll see the wc minus l list command per count minus l list users okay 
um, let let's do this. Uh, let's try the next command, which is word count minus l users. Word count minus l users. So I can see users direct is created, but there is no content. Let me see. So there are actually two users are there. Um, so actually this file should contain some users. Uh, so let me try this. WC minus L users. Oh, sorry. WC minus L users. So it actually did not create somehow so that could be the reason the output is not showing but the list then uh, let me show you something like this uh, cmx cmx server How about this? Let me do instead of users. Okay, so th these are the things actually we just need to remember. Less than is used to redirect the input, and greater than is used for re redirecting the output. Redirect commands pgm greater than file. The output of pgm is redirected to the file and the command will look like this uh, uh, command will look like this pgm greater than file pgm less than file program pgm reads its input file uh, input from the file pgm greater than greater than file it output will be appended n greater than file output from the stream with a descriptive n redirected to the file n greater than greater than file output from the stream with a descriptor and appended to the file n greater than and m merges the output from stream n with the stream m n less than and m merges the input from stream n with the stream m less than less than tag standard input comes from here through the next tag at the start of the line pipe symbol takes the output from one program or process and send it to the plus uh, to the another so these are the uh, things about the commands these are not more important but we have to just remember less than and greater than which are more commonly used the file descriptor 0 is normally standard input 1 is for standard output 2 is for standard error so 0 for input 1 for output and 2 is for error so those are the things about the input and output in the unix i hope you got some information and the knowledge about unix if you have any questions or queries, you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video. Thank you. Have a nice time.